You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa on the occasion of the advent of the new Hijri year 1444. His Royal Highness prayed to the Almighty to bestow His Majesty the King with abundant health and happiness and bless the Kingdom, the Arab and Islamic nations with prosperity and advancement. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks in reply to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in which His Majesty expressed a sincere appreciation praying to the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with wellness and to the Arab and Islamic nations many happiness. Happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa exchanged cables with leaders of Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of the new Hijra year 1444. His Majesty the King expressed sincere congratulations on the occasion, wishing them abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to their countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on the occasion of his country's throne day. His Majesty the King wished the Moroccan monarch good health and happiness and the people of the Kingdom of Morocco for their progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. In the cable, His Majesty the King hailed the deep-rooted fraternal relations binding the two countries and people, noting the steadily growing ties. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa directed the Ministry of Works and the Northern Governorate for the swift assessment of all flood-related damages and compensation for those affected by the rainfall in the Al Lawzi area. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister further directed to follow up on the steps taken to develop sustainable infrastructure solutions in the aforementioned area. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of, with leaders of Arab Islamic countries on the advent of the Hijri year 1444. His Royal Highness expressed sincere congratulations on the occasion, wishing them abundant health and happiness and further growth and prosperity to their countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of the Kingdom of Morocco on the occasion of Morocco's throne day. His Royal Highness wished King Mohammed VI abundant health and happiness and to the people of the Kingdom of Morocco for their development and progress under their wise leadership. His Royal Highness also praised the strong fraternal relations that unite the two kingdoms. The Bahraini Moroccan relations embody depth and sustainable cooperation and received the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco. Bahraini Moroccan relations are witnessing high level bilateral coordination in all fields, which is a reflection of strong ties and multiple partnerships to achieve prosperity and growth for the two kingdoms. The two kingdoms are bound by a long record of historical and strong brotherly relations linking the two kingdoms, which were supported and consolidated by the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad and His Majesty King Mohammed. The sixth, to further bolster these relations and to provide a model for bonds between states in a world that recognizes only alliances and integrated frameworks of cooperation. Relations between the two kingdoms are characterized by mutual understanding and firm solidarity on national issues based on the bonds of brotherhood and close ties and commitment to the principles and rules of international law, especially with regards to the rejection of interference in internal affairs and respect for sovereignty and national unity. Bahrain and Morocco have strong economic relations that have been bolstered by the joint strategic partnership in various economic sectors to supplement the financial and business sector. The volume of trade exchange and investment opportunities are increasing year by year as countries are working to bolster economic cooperation by signing agreements to diversify the economic base and stimulate trade movement. In light of the distinguished and strong political relations that bind the two leaders of the two countries, a mutual interest emerges to develop economic relations as economic openness is an essential feature of the economic trends in both countries. In terms of indicators of this openness, Bahrain is linked with Morocco through a number of economic agreements totaling around 61 within the framework of a renewed and promising partnership. The two sides seek to increase the rate of commercial exchange by activating cooperation through the exchange of bilateral and economic visits between businessmen from the two countries and activating the cooperation agreements signed between the two sides and the role of the Bahraini Moroccan Joint Council. Bahrain and Morocco are still working to deepen aspects of economic cooperation to supplement the financial and business sector and revitalize the trade exchange movement between them to serve their common interests and the aspirations of their people to strengthen economic ground. 
The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawzia Zainal, praised the distinguished humanitarian and human rights system in Bahrain and the progress it is witnessing according to a modern vision, institutional methodology and a well-established societal culture in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and with the support and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Zainal affirmed the Council's support for the continuation of work to develop the human rights legislative system in various fields, especially in the field of labor and combating trafficking in persons, and to move forward to uphold rights and duties in accordance with the principles stated in the National Action Charter and the Constitution. She hailed the efforts of all national institutions for the leading quality projects, initiatives and programs they offer in the field of human rights. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Hassan issued a statement marking the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons in which he asserted that Bahrain has managed to reach a prestigious regional and international status as well as advanced leading positions in combating trafficking in persons as a result of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's enlightened vision and approach based on consolidating the kingdom's role in promoting freedoms, protecting human rights and respecting human dignity. As Saleh noted that the kingdom's strides in combating trafficking in persons reflect the effective initiatives and programs and implemented by the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He commended the dedicated efforts exerted by the National Committee for Combating Trafficking in Persons to spread awareness on the importance of respecting human rights and contributing to the success of programs and plans aimed at fighting trafficking in persons. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to limit the damages resulting from rainwater and to compensate those affected in the Lawzi area, Minister of Works Ibrahim bin Hassan Al Hawaj and Northern Governor Ali Abdul Hussein Al Asfur visited the Lawzi area and assessed the necessary measures taken to limit the damage caused by the rainwater. They monitored the steps taken regarding the development of sustainable solutions for the infrastructure in the area. The Interior Ministry have made intensive efforts during the heavy rain in some areas in Bahrain. The efforts include regulating traffic and dealing with cases received by the main operations room. The operations directorate activated the emergency plan in coordination with the Northern Government Police Directorate to bring situations on roads and areas back to normal. Traffic patrols dealt with rain effects by assisting drivers with their faulty cars and making the required road diversions to protect lives and property. The Civil Defense dealt with some rain-related cases and used pumps to drain rainwater in cooperation with the municipal Affairs and Agriculture Affairs and Works Ministry. The Directorate of Media and Security Culture continued to carry out its awareness roles through the website of the Police Media Center and social channels. The 11th edition of Youth City 2030, organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in cooperation with Temkin, introduces many new programs within the five main centers that make up the city. The Art District Center, which is one of the main centers launched since the first edition of Youth City 2030, seeks to introduce new programs that keep pace with global developments and changes. And among the most prominent of these programs was the NFT program through which participants convert art pieces into replaceable symbols on electronic platforms. A number of training programs have been developed at the Innovation Center with the aim of attracting the largest segment of participants. Those programs, most notably ones related to social media, photography, short filmmaking, and a number of music programs, have received great interest from trainees of all ages. In a change of tradition, the new cover of the Holy Kaaba in Mecca was installed at the dawn of the new Islamic year of 1444. It used to be that the Kiswa was replaced once a year during Hajj, especially on the morning of Dhul Hajjah the 9th, after the pilgrims go to Mount Arafat in preparation for receiving worshippers the next morning, which coincides with Eid al-Adha. Last month, Saudi Arabia's General Presidency for the two holy mosques announced a change in tradition so that the annual event would be held on the eve of the 1st of Muharram, the first day in the Hijri calendar. President of the two holy mosques, Presidency Sheikh Abdurrahman al-Sadeh said the change was being made based on a royal decision. 